what to expect from the IRCC in 2023, here are our predictions about the 2023 Canadian immigration programs. There will be disappointment, Aww. surprises, and faster processes. A mix of bad and good news. Of course, what else can you expect from the Canadian Immigration Department? Hello, my name is Reza and I work with the Ingwe Immigration Team helping applicants move to Canada. Whether it's for yourself, your kids, your business or all of the above, we make it happen. Let me make this clear, I'm not an actual full-time YouTuber, but I work hands-on with our licensed team working on actual applications and communicating with the Immigration Department overseas and inside Canada on a daily basis on behalf of our clients. These videos are made for the purpose of sharing our hands-on immigration knowledge with our worldwide audience. And if you're thinking about immigrating to Canada, well, we can help. Get a free email assessment for eligible applicants filling out the form that's included below this video. Here are 2023 predictions for Canadian immigration. Remember that these are just our own views based on what we believe can happen based on policies and internal government procedures. Number one, less IRCC officers will be assigned to temporary resident visa application processing compared to 2021 and 2022. We've seen a three to seven percent decrease in the estimated total number of officers who will be assigned this year for TRV application processing, such as study permits, visitor visas, and work permits. This can only mean one point, which is much higher dependence on artificial intelligent processing, which takes us to the next prediction. Prediction number two, more AI processing, artificial intelligence for temporary re resident visa applications. Two things you need to know here. The Lighthouse AI based risk assessment tool of the IRCC. It checks for red flags such as fraud and also other risk factors in applications to help officers make decisions. This tool can be used in all types of applications, even PR. It is a data mining AI tool, which has been in the making for a while by IRCC. The second key point to know about AI, as you may know, is the Chinook decision-making support platform, which is obviously going to be the main platform being used for major decision-making processing of temporary resident visas by IRCC. Although they have started using it for PR applications as well, in 2021 for both in Shanghai and other visa processing centers. This Chinook system is a very controversial system which most applicants and immigration practitioners are not comfortable with. Interestingly enough, this system will grow and expand as time goes on. We have been monitoring even which immigration representative was on file when the application was submitted. Our prediction is that Chinook system will be used to identify immigration representatives who have been flagged for fraudulent documentation and the ones which continue to take on cases to judicial review which have been refused. So the officer is aware of how they should handle the application before they even start reviewing it. This is obviously very, very biased, biased, but what isn't with IRCC? Prediction number three more countries will be expanded as part of the partial visa lift program. Previous examples of countries participating in this program is Brazil, where applicants with US visas are eligible for electronic travel authorization, ETA. Instead of needing to apply for a visitor visa before traveling to Canada, they just apply online for an ETA and within literally minutes get an approval. IRCC is considering expanding this program to several new countries for applicants who meet certain criteria and potentially have valid US visas. This will be good news for many countries and our prediction is that Central and South America countries such as Colombia, maybe Peru, not sure about it, and some Caribbean islands. It remains to be seen if Africa, Asia, Middle Eastern countries will be part of this program, which I highly doubt. Prediction number four, the Newfoundland Provincial Nominee Program and the Atlantic Immigration Program applicants will be prioritized faster by the IRCC for PR processing as Newfoundland had utilized the least number of quota applications during the past few years and hence IRCC will be fast tracking them. Prediction number five, more provincial nominee applicants will be refused for work permits under the Entrepreneur Program. If the significant benefit for Canada is not clearly 
clearly explained and outlined in their application. This is a new internal policy within the IRCC that is being planned to be implemented in 2023. Prediction number six, as announced by IRCC in late 2023, the Pearson test of English, essential English test will be accepted as proof of language proficiency along with other four approved tests such as IELTS, CELPIP, TEF and TCF for Canadian immigration purposes. This is something that's already been announced and will be implemented later this year. Prediction number seven, the controversial startup visa program. We will continue to see approval rates of 50 to 60 percent max, but I expect a bit faster processing of PR applications under this program and the refusal rates for work permits to stay high for non-visa exempt applicants. We do expect the program to change from the direct PR stream eventually, but not at the moment and most likely not this year. We do expect more provinces to start introducing provincial nominee startup visa programs with their own criteria in their near future. We also expect IRCC to continue not to trust any of the designated organizations on the approved SUV list which can issue letters of support under this program. This seems to be an ongoing theme for the last two years. Prediction number eight, Iranian applications will be the highest refused region or country in all of IRCC's database versus the volume of applicants that come in. Prediction number nine, by the end of 2023, we expect TR to PR pathway for Ukrainian nationals to be introduced, allowing the applicants with work permits inside Canada with options to apply for Canadian permanent residency based on specific criteria. Prediction number 10, we expect more programs by RCC to be introduced for fast track francophone applicants, the French speaking applicants to Canada, both temporary and permanent programs. This is the top priority for the Canadian government this year and going forward into the subsequent years where about the caregiver pilot program. It's a tough one. There's a lot of pressure to change the program from the current structure and cap. We cannot predict about this program at the moment except to say that nobody is happy of how the way the program is designed and being implemented at the moment. Prediction number 12, faster visa processing and study permit processing by the IRCC in 2023. This is expected as per the new policies that have been publicized in the media. We do expect updates by IRCC in the next 30 to 60 days to inform the public of how they will be clearing this huge backlog. Our prediction is that 50% of the backlog or more will be cleared this year. We call it the IRCC application purge. They should make a Netflix movie about it. Sounds kind of neat. Prediction number 13, express entry. We expect IRCC to continue with their draws under this federal skilled immigration PR stream, but do not expect the pool of applicants in this program to drop or more applicants to be invited. Based on the three-year immigration program announced by the Canadian government, the number of files to be processed under this program will not be significantly changed. And the occupation-specific draws is the only key change that everyone is expecting this year based on the new tier system. Last but not least, prediction number 14, there will be no new business immigration program announced by the federal government in 2023, but we do expect federal self-employed processing to improve processing times for this specific PR program for occupations in arts, culture, and sports from three and a half years to lower levels, which will make more sense. I have no idea who'd want to apply and wait nearly three and a half years from outside of Canada for Canadian PR, that would be ridiculous. If you're looking for more insight into the IRCC and immigration hacks, remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and tune in to our weekly live stream. If you're thinking about immigrating, whether permanently or temporarily, through skilled immigration, LMI exempt work permits, free trade agreements, study visas, investment or family sponsorship, you're at the right place. I can guarantee you only one point. You will know what to expect, the entire process clearly laid out for you and all the risks identified, including costs. Our legal agreements are based on payment milestones, which are linked directly to your application progression. We do not take 100% advance payment for your Canadian immigration application. There will be no surprises in terms of expenses or costs, just results. Our team speaks over eight languages and we help applicants from over 48 different countries. Click the link below this video and get a free email assessment for eligible applicants. And if you're ready to apply and would like a one-on-one -on -one consultation, 
session with me or any of my immigration team members at Ingway, you can also book a session directly using the consultation link included in the description of this video. And of course, if you have questions, remember, we're here weekly live scheduled on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram every Thursday, 11 a.m. North America Eastern Standard Time, where we answer all of your immigration questions for free on the spot. See you next Thursday.